what's going on guys chaos here bringing you another video and today we are back for yet another ticket legends let's play today we're going to be looking at some advanced piping now as you can see uh, I've rec i'm recording this basically straight after last episode and as you can notice uh we set up our quarry um but as you can see it's taking a bunch of dirt and it's putting it into our ore chest uh this is of course only for ores it's not really what we want so as you can see i've already typed it in to remind myself uh we are going to be making some diamond transport pipes. This is what's going to be a, a source of our sorting system, if you will. Um, so we are going to need some more diamonds. So we're really uh, raking through our diamonds. We've actually run out of our own diamonds. So we are going to need a bit more of an efficient way of doing this. But we're going to take some of the copper, because we have a lot of it. And there's no way we're going to be needing that much. Especially now that we have a bunch of uh, quarries, well just the one quarry basically, uh, running. So we're only going to need a few, but we're going to make as many diamonds as we can. We'll make one set of diamond piping. So we're going to make a diamond pipe, it's just the same way to make any pipe, is the material either side a piece of glass, and that makes our transport pipe. So, as you can see, I've stopped the system so that we can have time to actually do this. Because um, we don't want the system and this chest filling up with a bunch of just junk that we don't really need. See, look, a stack of dirt already. It really doesn't take long for it to actually start doing its systematic things. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna break this, and we're gonna break this, and we're gonna break this. So what the diamond transport uh, pipe does. So as you can see, as we put it down, it's got a little blue uh, little tape bit there. Now if we right click it, as you can see, it comes up with this little color grid. The color grid uh, indicates which items go through which area. So if we take a transport pipe, it's just a standard cobble transport pipe, we just put one he along here and then there. As you can see, it's all got different pieces of tape. So if we say, for example, put dirt in this green section, dirt would only go through that green pipe and nothing else would go through it. This is the source of how industrial craft and build craft complete their sorting systems. It's all down to these diamond gears. Now. We could go ahead and try and get as many ores as we can, but it's probably a much um, smarter idea to, instead of getting the system to put in all the ores down this way, is to send all the useless junk up this way. So we're going to quickly reorganize this little thing we have here, which is what we call her, the start of our sorting system. And we're going to pop a diamond gear there. So we'll have the stuff coming into here. We will then have the stuff coming all the way across here, break these torches because they're not needed, and we'll just place them elsewhere. We'll bring the system all the way around. There we go. All the way. <clears throat> and then we have, we'll have to have another diamond gear here. And yes, in fact no we won't, that's a lie just put the stuff straight in here so this is where all our cobblestone and dirt and useless stuff but we will have to have a diamond gear here for the marble so we'll pop the stuff there and as you can see it doesn't make the house look too bad but it does make it look a little bit different uh, so we're gonna get some cobblestone um, we don't we have a piece of cobblestone there we're actually gonna sort our inventory a little bit because it's kind of cluttered and we kind of need the space so we're gonna we have a marble brick why do we have a marble brick uh, well, we'll need some marble. Why is there wool there? I don't know why there's wool there. Um, we'll pop that back in there. Uh, so we'll pop the marble in here. So which is that? That's black. So when I put this here, nothing... Oh, what? Why didn't that go in? Oh. Oh, it doesn't get rid of the material. That's pretty good. So only marble will go down that pipe there. Nothing else will go down that. Now over here, we're actually going to need a bit more... Few more uh, we're going to need that... And that should be pretty much it. We'll need some limestone. Do I have any abyssal blocks? Because I know that there's some underneath the house. And I'm not sure if we have any. Uh, we do. I don't know why it's in there. But either way. So we're going to go into here. And we're going to need another piece of marble. Uh, marble. There we go. And we'll pop the marble. The gravel is in the red. It is in the red, in the red, the marble, the dirt, the abyssal stone, the cobblestone, the limestone. There we go. Uh, we could put obsidian in there, and we will, but obsidian isn't exactly a necessity. 
Um, obviously, it is a basically the quarry is a diamond, uh, diamond pickaxe, so it will mine through anything basically except um, uh, bedrock. So all the stuff is going to go through there. Now, of course, there are some blocks that just give you stuff straight, stuff such as redstone, um, what else, what else? Diamond, of course, uh, uranium, emerald. It's they're all stuff that's just going to give us straight. It doesn't need any mining. So that's what we're going to put this system into this system as well. Is oh, we don't really have much space. That's not good. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to make another gear, uh, not gear. Um, you block even pipe goodness me i'm messing up all my words today uh so we'll pop in here and we're gonna make ourselves an iron gear iron gear pipe goodness me i need to stop uh messing up uh so we're gonna place this iron gear here now this iron gear is a l pipe <laughs> i need um i'm clearly not fit to do be recording right now um this iron pipe as you can see, we'll get our wrench to show you a little example. Um, it has little grey tape here, as you can see, one, two, three. That indicates which areas cannot be placed. So a block coming this way, if it hits that little grey bit, it will be sent back. Now this is a bit weird, because I don't know how to change it. But, uh, can we just pop this there? No? Okay, hang on a sec, guys. Okay, so I've uh, done a little bit of research on the matter, and it looks like I need a new different kind of wrench, but I believe it's this one, but I'm too lazy to make one. So what I've done is I've sort of reorganized the piping system. So everything will come down in this pipe, and nothing will go along there or there. So everything will basically be channeled this way. And then we're going to need one final diamond gear pipe. I don't know why I keep calling it gear. It's quite clearly a pipe. And in there, we're going to put the diamond. Wait, let's quickly see. I forgot to put that down. There we go. So it's in black. So diamond. Emerald. Uranium. And redstone. If there's anything else that I forgot... Uh, oh, cool. If there's anything else I forget, then it will just go back... Go into either this chest, or this chest, or the ore's chest. Which And if it does go in the ore's chest, then everything will just start spewing out... And bad things will happen, but at least I'll be notified because everything will be on the ground. Um, so we're going to pop these pipes away because that's basically our sorting system complete. I mean, there's nothing else really important that needs to be pointing, pointing it out. Uh, so we're going to pop this stuff away. Oh, tor torches, torches, torches. I need to replace uh, some of these torches. So we're just going to bring these down. Now, of course, like I said, this is the build craft and industrial craft type of production in terms of I'll keep that out there um, sorting system uh, this is of course is different if you're using redstone power um, you can use different uh, techniques for redstone but now that we have this system pretty much completed uh, we could probably set it off and just sort of sit back and let it do its thing because there's nothing else really that needs to be done uh, we can pop this stuff away actually um, because it's not needed. I've just put that all in the wrong chest. Um, <clears throat> you might be able to hear my voice. I'm actually, I am actually ill, so I do apologize for my, me not being <clears throat> up to my usual, oh my god, hang on a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I had to clear my throat, but we're going to head to sleep now, and we're going to get the quarry going, because that's basically the system made. Um, if there is any things that I've forgotten, then, like I said, the system will end up messing up and I'll know exactly what I need to do. Go away, zombie. I don't need your attention right now. There we go. And we should be able to start the set off this quarry now. Uh, so we can turn this on, turn this on, and turn this on. So as you can see, the diamond drill is going ahead. You may have seen at the very end of last episode, um, it continues on. Yeah. We go simple and that's going to keep going all the way down into bedrock now there are things that we need we could do we could start making a recycler or a mass fabricator um for a place for the cobblestone and the dirt but for then for now uh our little chest here will do nicely uh that's not appropriate there we 
the gas pack. So as you can see, the dirt is now coming along. Now we could go ahead and make ourselves a redstone, not a redstone, a golden pipe, um, which basically speed up the process. So when it hits the golden pipe, the speed increases dramatically. I don't know what what it is, but I don't know why. I'm just so lazy. Why I, why I can't be bothered making that, but oh well. So as you can see, the dirt is now coming in from the quarry, and that's going to keep going all the way down into bedrock, and hopefully this system shall work. Oh god, I forgot to put the stuff back in. Oops. Um, so we need this, 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 and this. Ooh, lapis. I completely forgot about lapis. So we'll fill this greenness system up. Like so. So everything that is in the green will go over there. And basically every single other ore is going to go into here. Simples. Uh, so basically I'm just going to leave this system to run. Because there's no other reason to you know pay attention to it. Because assuming it works. Uh, obviously. Um, is there any problems? So all, as you see all the dirt is now going down the way. It's not allowed to go this way. Because of the little iron tape thing there. Now obviously we can't actually see when ores actually start appearing. Um, so, we have to go pretty deep for the system to actually start efficiently working. But as you can see, the dirt is coming in and nothing else is. Well, everything is basically smooth. Now, if you're um, watching these for like sort of guides sort of things, here's a little tip for your quarries and your sorting system. Please, I beg of you, do not overdo it because pipes are notoriously laggy. There's, I've been on plenty of servers back in Tekkit Classic where... People would just make their entire house, basically a pipe house, because they would have so much sorting systems, and they'd have so much stuff in their house, and the pipes just cause lag, because, as you can see even here, the blocks are all sort of intertwined, they're sort of glitching into each other, so when you have even more engines powering that, and you're, you know, you're really, you're overflowing your quarry, and your sorting system just can't hold it, and you just end up with a bunch of problems, to be honest. Um... So let's just take a quick look outside just to see the uh, our work that we have done. There we go. So now you can see. Oh, go away. Uh, you can now see it's now starting to go into the second layer. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on these um, engines because I'm not too sure what how they've uh, coded them differently now because I believe they now overheat. Um, I'm not sure what their overheat process is. Apparently, it says if the it does overheat, then it will inform us basically but i don't know how it's going to inform us i don't think it blows up if it does i'm going to be very disappointed and i'm going to have to make it all again but you know we do have a transmutation table and now that we have this quarry going we can just keep reusing this area i mean we, once this is all done we can pop a landmark and go just the same direction here obviously this isn't exactly the prettiest thing to look at it's going to eventually uh, come to a point where it's just going to be completely and hideously ugly but because of course it's going to go all the way to bedrock and there's nothing really going to stop that to be honest um so we'll get to a point where you know we have, we'll have to fill it up uh there are ways of doing that you can use a, a filler and um, in the redstone but that's for future projects when we have a few quarries going and you know there's a lot of mess basically and as you can see the first piece of dirt that we mined in our quarry has now finally uh, reached its destination so that's everything for me hope you guys have enjoyed this advanced piping system if you did make sure to press the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out and uh yeah hope you guys are enjoying these shorter episodes because i know they're a lot more bearable to watch and uh yeah that's everything from me my name is mr kill 12 and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye everyone